Before the proceedings even started today, lawyers for all parties laid out their plans for the conclusion of this case. The prosecution says it plans to rest its case on Monday, meaning the defense would start on Tuesday. And defense attorneys say they do indeed plan to call former alderman turned government mold Danny Solis to the witness stand. But before any of that can happen, the prosecution today continued to present evidence in the so-called Burger King shakedown scheme. Former Alderman Ed Burke sat with his arms folded as he listened to government lawyers present evidence that they say shows Burke extorting the owners of this Burger King in his ward on the southwest side. Burke is accused of pressuring them to hire his private law firm in exchange for helping them secure driveway permits and holding up construction until he got what he wanted. Today, Paul Perino, a public way inspector with the city of Chicago's Department of Transportation, testified that he wrote a citation for the Burger King after meeting with one of Burke's aides in the 14th Ward office, who asked him to check out a report of debris in the Burger King driveway. Defense attorneys made the case that the restaurant did, in fact, lack the driveway permits, so this wasn't something Burke made up to harass the business owners. Defense attorney Todd Pugh asked, the assignment was no different than any you've had before. Perino replied, correct. That ticket, you've written hundreds of those over your career, correct? Correct. But prosecutor Diane MacArthur sought to make the point that a ticket wasn't the pressure. The alderman's power was. She asked the inspector, did you at any point try to shut down the business? Perino said, no. Prosecutors would point to a memo in which Peter Andrews, Burke's chief of staff, said the alderman's office shut down construction. That came out when former FBI Special Agent Pamela McCarthy testified that she discovered a memo during the raid on Burke's 14th Ward office in November of 2018. That memo from Andrews to Burke said, quote, We stopped the construction on the site and it is still on hold while the Department of Transportation reviews the driveway permits. I recall you mentioned to them, since they're out of Houston, that they should think about local legal representation for the zoning matters and so forth. But defense attorneys argued that memo was hardly a smoking gun, that Burke was pressuring the Burger King franchise owners to hire his private law firm for tax appeal work. Burke's lawyer, Joe Duffy, said, quote, In this memo, there's no reference to a law firm called Clafter and Burke. McCarthy answered, No, not that I see. There's no reference to the property tax work, is there? No, there is not. When the prosecution finishes its presentation on Burger King, there is one more alleged scheme they plan to delve into, and this one involves alleged bribery and a Binnie's Beverage Depot sign. Burke and his co-defendants in this case have all pleaded not guilty. Reporting at the Dirksen Federal Building, Mike Lowe, WGN News.